everyone. Welcome back to Taste of Asia at Home. Uh, today we're going to prepare a dish called uh, Jumbo Shrimp and Scallops uh, prepared with salt and pepper. And uh, we're going to use two different methods of, of preparing the seafood today, which we've used previously. One is the velvetizing of the scallops, which will be done at a lower temperature with the oil, cooking oil. And the other one will be the Jumbo Shrimp in the Shell, which will be flash fried. So we're going to flash fry the shrimp first and then let the oil cool down and then we'll do the velvetizing uh, of the scallops, that cooking method, a slower method. And then we'll combine these two seafood items uh, with the salt and pepper and the seasoning. In, and we're not going to stir fry that at a very high heat. We're just going to constantly stir that in, in, in the wok until the flavors meld into the dish. And, we don't, and with any fresh seafood, you don't want to overcook it and you don't want to overpower it, in my opinion, with a lot, with over seasoning. You want to, to maintain the freshness of the seafood. And uh, I've tried, you know, to use these methods and, and to teach these methods uh, from the beginning over five years ago on my channel. And through the basic steps of uh, how to prepare Chinese food and Asian food in your home kitchen, uh, sometimes you have to adapt the methods and you know, I hope that uh, that through the videos that I've helped people to learn how to prepare uh, Asian food Chinese food at your home in your home, you know uh, and adapt the, the methods that we use in commercial kitchens and you can get a very a very um, Tasty dishes using these methods and thank you for supporting my channel and watching all my videos Okay, let's get started on this dish. You can see I have a little bit of a mess here on this cutting board. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And um, these are the shrimp that I purchased from my good friend Gerald Miller. Uh, we're lucky that we live on the Gulf Coast and these are shrimp that are, have been caught uh, locally. Uh, they sell them for $9.99 a pound for the uh, 1620 size without the heads. So. Um, when you get these shrimp with with the if they had the head on, you would still stick your scissor in here, right in the, in the top here. But since they're headless, this is what you do, and this is a lot easier. You you, you take your scissors, slip it underneath the shell, and follow it back to the tail. I've already done done most of them, but I thought I'd I'd save three and and go over this so everybody can see it. You, you run your scissor down, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your cleaver and cut halfway down the meat, and then you're going to take any um, vein out of the out of the shrimp. So you're going to devein them and cut them halfway through. Then you're going to dust them with the dry cornstarch and flash fry them. So, and it's so much easier than trying to use a knife cut through this shell, you use the scissor, that's a, a tip for you. And then once, once you have them like this, you'll open them up and take any vein out and rinse them out, rinse them out, and let them, let them dry. So you take the vein out, and that's basically it. See this vein, you want to get, be sure you remove that sand vein out of the shrimp. Then rinse them off and let them and put them in a colander and let them dry. Next, these are your scallops. You can see in this bowl I have a heaping tablespoon of dry cornstarch. This is about one pound of scallops. And this is off. Gerald sells these too. I don't know if he <laughs> catches these or I think they're frozen actually, but but he has them at a very good price. In the supermarkets, these would be around $18 a pound. He sells them for 12 So we'll put the cornstarch in there. And then we have uh, one egg white. And that, that's how you velvetize the seafood. And you can drain you can drain some of this off and add a little bit more dry cornstarch because you want this mixture to kind of like cling to the scallops. And the only other thing you put in there is maybe just a tad of uh, sesame oil. Okay, 
then and then you're ready to the, this will go in the oil after we flash fry the shrimp that's uh, step two I just wanted to review this process with you welcome back everybody we're ready to start this shrimp you can see I've dusted it with dry cornstarch and now I'm going to flash fry the shrimp It only takes about a minute, and we're going to pick it up. And after you flash fry it like this, it's about 70% done, and you can see. And now we're going to let the oil cool down, and, and then we're going to cook the scallops. They're not going to be flash fried, they're just going to be cooked in the oil, so they'll be smooth. Okay, now we've turned the, the um, fire off on the wok, and we gave them the oil a chance to cool down. We're going to put the scallops in. You can see the, the scallops are sizzling a little bit, but they're not being cooked because there's, there's no heat under the wok. And the scallops were cold, so they're just going to cook in the oil. And the same thing, we want them about 70% done. We don't want them all the way done because we're going to stir fry the dish. So we'll scoop them up and put them on the same plate. And then we'll pour, pour off this oil. Now we left a little bit of oil in the wok. see on this plate here what we're going to use. We're going to use uh, the teaspoon of the salt and I have a quarter of a teaspoon of the pepper. And then I have green onion which will go in last and a little bit of just a dash of five spice powder and a teeny bit of, of uh, minced garlic. And you're not going to use all of this uh, salt and pepper mixture. You're just going to put enough in it in there to see, to season the dish. But I just wanted to show you that the proportion is like four to one, four parts salt to one part pepper. So. so let's get started. You can see I put the Cuban scallops back in the wok. Then we're going to add, sprinkle in the salt and pepper. Just the 
pinch of garlic, and one dash. Remember, your five spice uh, powder is very strong, so you just want to put a dash of it in there. And a splash of that wine. You can just keep adding your a little bit of pinch at a time as this cooks. And then the final part is you're just going to garnish it with the uh, green onion. Okay, now we're ready to plate it up. There you And there you have it. That's your uh, jumbo shrimp and scallops with salt and pepper. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson.